If you or a loved one suffers from pornography, sex, or masturbation addiction, stay tuned till the end of this video because there will be a permanent solution to get rid of these nasty, disgusting habits for the rest of your life. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Joe Biden says, Inshallah. Now, I'll be honest with you, but I first heard him say this, you know? Um, you know, you never know in what context you're going to hear. So when someone told me that they heard him say it, and it was on social media and all that, uh, I was just like, well, what's the nature of him saying it? You know, is this similar to that Hassan Minhaj over here when he was trying to make the dua on, uh, on, on, on Netflix, so on and so forth? What was really happening over here, you know? And... Um, you know, I'll play it for you and let you be the judge for yourself. So you can, I don't want to, I don't want to populate your mind with my thoughts. Does that make sense? I want you to form your own thoughts for a second. So let me play the video clip for you. And I would love to know what you guys think. So here's that clip right now. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. I, and you'll get to when? see it. But let, shalom, shalom, you, but let me just shalom, tell you, but let me shalom, just tell you, but let me just tell you, but let me just tell you. And after you've done finished seeing that clip, clip alhamdulillah, um, what are your thoughts about it? Tell me in the comment section below, how do you feel like they took it? But I'll be honest with you, when I heard it, I, I actually laughed a little bit. I, I chuckled a little bit. Some of you are like, oh, of course you did. <laughs> no, like I, I thought it was cool. On the national stage, he used an Arabic word that's so powerful. Now. It's a different conversation about how he used it, right? That's a, can you understand? But that's a different conversation to use how he used it, whether I agree with him using it or not. It's a different conversation. But like, think about it in the terms of, like, this is getting a lot more attention than you would have thought, you know? And, you know, some might be assuming maybe he's trying to get the Muslim vote or trying to look good in the Muslim eyes or something like that. I'm not thinking of it that way. And that's not the meaning I'm choosing to give it, right? Like, I haven't asked joe biden himself what he thinks so anything that i say or you say or think comes from your own thoughts and any whispers that the devil is putting in your ears honest to god we need to stop making negative meanings to things we need to stop that right what happened to assuming the best in people so on and so forth okay so let's try to make positive meaning of things inshallah so i guess you're not moving i'm moving now you feel better about yourself you got you got a, you got a comfortable you got uncomfortable because I wasn't moving. Well, I'm moving. So we got kids back in the building now today. Today's a today was an interesting day to say the least. But alhamdulillah, it's nice to see the kids. Um, I, I'm gonna say this, right? I thought it was cool from the perspective of even how he used it. He used it in a very interesting con context. He used it like your your ummi does, you know, on Eve day when you said that hey, we're gonna go out or something like that, and they're like, yeah, yeah, inshallah. You know what I mean? They, he used it just like that, like a uh, ha ha ha. Yeah, sure, inshallah, you were gonna see it. You know, and I just felt like the concept, the, the context he used it in was obviously Islamically, if you're talking about like what it actually means, that's not true. But culturally, he used it correctly, right? How many of our parents or maybe even ourselves are guilty of this, where we use the term inshallah to say, uh, not really. Yeah, no, right? How many of us have used the word inshallah for that? Someone's inviting you to a place that you don't really want to be, inshallah, inshallah, I'll be there. Come on, we've used it like that before. So let's not do that. Let's actually give some credit where credit's due. He used it in the correct sort of context from what we've heard it culturally uh, misrepresented. And if you know anything right now, you'll see that a lot of Islamic like concepts and words and phrases are coming into mainstream now. You know, this is not the first time it's happened, which is pretty dope. And just so you guys know that today's partner for the video, not a sponsor, they're a partner because I've worked with them in the past, right? They're good, good people. I'm not recommending some strangers. Good, good people is my tazkiyah, guys. If any of you are suffering from pornography addictions, masturbation addictions, sex addiction, uh, addictions, <laughs> addictions, right? Do not worry about it. You're not alone. There's a bunch of other people who feel the same way. We shouldn't allow these things to plague our communities. You know what I mean? Let's do something about it, okay? The link is going to be in my description. This is a uh, a coaching, a session with people who are masters at helping you get away from pornography addictions, masturbation, and sex addiction, okay? So go check them out in the link in the description um, and, and, and sign up for the membership, right? It might help you out. It is completely anonymous and it's for brothers or for sisters. You understand? These people are life coaches when it comes to these things and they've changed lives so if you're interested in changing your life around and you're tired of being addicted to the thing that you hate the most in the world click the link in my bio excuse me my description and go make that happen love you all for sake of Allah let's get back to uh, the topic but you know we are all guilty of using the term inshallah incorrectly 
you know? But inshallah is a very powerful word that needs to be used, but it just has to be used correctly. You understand? When you say like someone tells you to do something or invites you to a place you don't really want to be, and you use the word inshallah, you're li literally saying if Allah wills, right? But that means that you're putting the effort in so that Allah can will it. You understand? If you have zero intention to do nothing about it at all, but you say, yeah, inshallah, you're saying if Allah wills, but I'm not going to do anything behind that. You understand? Now imagine that type of concept creeping into your everyday life. Imagine the quality of your du'as. Making du'a to Allah but not believing that He's really going to answer them. You understand? Like It's not a little thing. It's a big deal when people say inshallah and they actually don't mean it. It's a bigger deal than we think, okay? Because guess what happens? That can affect your tawakkul. That can affect your tawakkul in Allah. Right? Because you're saying for something, but you're not putting in the action. But you just expect Allah to do things for you because you have tawakkal in Allah. I'm going to pass this exam even though I didn't do jack to prepare for it, but have tawakkal in Allah. That's wrong. That's called tawakkul. Because you trust in Allah, you know that Allah is going to take care of it, but I'm not going to do anything. Tawakkul is working your butt off, grinding your backside off, and making sure that you can get what you got to do to make that exam possible, and then trusting that Allah, you're going to take care of everything. Prepare Allah because I am prepared, I've done my part. Okay? So don't get caught up in using terms like inshallah incorrectly to just say like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. You know? That's wrong. We shouldn't be using it. Allah SWT uses this even in Surah Kaf, right? In Surah Kaf, Allah SWT is correcting the people. Don't say anything. Don't say that you are going to do something unless you're saying inshallah. Don't do anything. Don't embark on a journey. Don't embark on an intention. Don't embark on something until you've invoked Allah's, uh, you know, beauty, His 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 guidance, His mercy, and you've asked for His will. You understand? That has to be in our mindset. It's not like uh, the, you know, like it's a superstition. No, you guys gotta like use it correctly, including myself. Not just you, including myself. It's funny, one of you guys corrected me, a few of you guys corrected me on my prior previous videos, I don't know which one, but I didn't say inshallah, inshallah in it, and you guys wrote, say inshallah next time. And you're right, does not look out for that correction. It really means a lot to me. The fact that you're studying my words to make sure that I'm holding myself to higher standards, thank you for that. Thank you for that, you know? I'm thinking, how can we push this forward? How can we make more accountability? Can we start a Fudger WhatsApp group? Right? Can we start a Fudger WhatsApp group? Right? What do you guys think about that idea? I'd love to do something like that. A Fudger WhatsApp group. Make one of you guys an administrator. So all the people who are in Fudger in Indonesian time or Malaysia or, or uh, Pakistan or India or Bangladesh or the UK or South Africa. Bro, there's people. There's so many of y'all watch from every uh, part of the world. You know what I mean? Maybe we give like Fudger reminders, give a quick phone call to them. Maybe someone's responsible to give a phone call, you know, to that person. Or to those people. You know, let's think about it. Give me some ideas in the comment section below. Guys, that's literally the video. I don't want to hold you guys too long. I got to get back and start editing this. The next few days are going to be kind of hectic, but alhamdulillah, uh, things are going to be very, very interesting on my off days, and I'll tell you more about that. Uh, but guys, please, please, please check out the partners, not sponsors, the partners of this video, my Tazkiyah. Guys, don't live with these stupid addictions that are holding us back. We're so powerful, wallahi, but these addictions are weakening us. So please, 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 please get rid of these uh, you know, addictions. And if, you, if it's not you, and it's a loved one, or you're afraid of giving your name, it's completely anonymous. Honest to God, they won't even know. They won't. They don't even need to know of who the person is. You understand? So please don't feel any embarrassment. Uh, let's defeat the shaitan and not, not let these things ruin our self-esteem, our iman. Love you all for the sake of a life. If you haven't checked out some of my other videos, they're right over here. Click them. They're pretty good. They're pretty fly. They're pretty popping. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, yeah, check out the videos I'm seeing in my cards if you guys want to. If not, that's cool. I have an awesome, awesome social experiment coming out uh, on... Sunday because I'm recording on Saturday I think I think yeah I'm recording on Saturday inshallah so Sunday I'm gonna be trying to drop it inshallah inshallah love you all for the sake of Allah and until next time